guys, welcome back to the channel. As usual, I am your host, Selassie Fiawe. Tunisia, after winning their very first game versus Togo 4 1, a take on Zambia here, a chance to make it to the next stage of the women's AFCON. We'll have a look at the highlights. Tunisia taking on Zambia. As usual, subscribe if you have not. Click on the notification bell to get more updates. Uh, the game between Zambia and uh, Tunisia in Group B. And so here we go, it's a north and south battle for might and weight here. High-flying Carthage Eagles of Tunisia looking to maintain and uh, stabilize their altitude in a group after thumping Togo and scoring off just one of five space as balls is pushed down to the right-hand side. I think this is what happened when you haven't played each other before, you're trying to size each other. This is what is actually happening right now. Well, Zambia with the opportunity to move forward now with a chance now to shoot ball sent to the right-hand side and now he's been shot feebly. Pretty much poor for Mochamba. Zambia now stringing lovely passes together. Here comes uh, Mapepe. Support comes through for the captain for the side, Chanda. Let's the ball in. And Zambia could have opportunity once again. And this time it's been headed wide. And they see plenty of the balls there. The Zambians quality play once again coming through from Zulu. That was, that was a good play from them. They actually find the space, use the width, cross the ball perfectly well. Unfortunately, the finish wasn't that good enough. Izozi Zulu plays a club football in 10. Only here. Lifts the ball to the far post again. It's Nali who has to deal with it. And she collects it beautifully. Here comes the Chumba. Lovely pass here to uh, Zumari Mapepe. And charging forward. She goes to the ground. It's going to be a penalty for Zambia. It is. It's been given. They tried. They fought. And then it's been given. Zambia gets a penalty. Rani Una committing that. And what I tell you about the speed of uh, Zumara Mapepe in the moment she came out, yeah. yes. That, that is what you want to see like in the, in the team, the Zambia, the women's team, they are very, they're, they're very straightforward. Very pacey team. That was a good one. I'm sure they missed her in the first game and this is what she brought to the team. And this time Ochumba, and she plus wide. Would you believe this? We had chance for the Copper Queens and the Chumba just amazingly blasted wide over the roof there. And so the scoreline still remains Zambia nil, Tunisia nil. What a miss. They have to, they have to lean, she has to lean on the ball, lean, lean on the ball. She was, when it comes to finding that target, it has been really poor. Well, interestingly, there's been 10 touches in the opposition box, and that's been the Tunisians really looking to find a way here. The referee just gave something, and it's going to be a question to be asked. A penalty has been given to the Tunisians. Well, that was a throw here, and this is where the referee thought. If the Zambia get a different uh, decision, because sometimes these players they try to keep the, the hands to themselves and then it came off uh, a lower party see what well the, so the referee, referee coming in i'm not uh, again we're still doubting and seeing what the decision will be uh, the mauritius official maria rivet decides that that uh, is not going to be a penalty yeah because she tried to Ochumba. and again she just wasn't able to drill the ball into the back of the net there for the copper queens and so it sums up the effort for the Copper Queens. They have been resilient. They have. Katonga was supposed to be the target here. It is uh, Grace Chanda. And that's the uh, captain displaying her leadership qualities in this game and trying to get the team moving forward. No surprise with her. That's sad. She's always uh, taking a chance because every half chance is a goal when it comes to Chandra. I always expect uh, the uh, captain to always uh, display something spectacular in the game there. Yet another delivery into the box.
Football Association Nova Zambia President Andrew Kamanga had said that the team encountered some challenges around player eligibility for the competition. Well, they have foot course and the 22 players in here. And uh, it is still going to be the Copa Queens clearing the lines um, in VPA. And uh, making sure that this time she clears things beautifully. The technicians, they're, they're trying to control the game from the middle. But of course, the Zambia team, they're not giving them the opportunity when they get to the third down. They try to disrupt all their plans. Now they go again, Grace Chanda looking to hit this one. Chanda again. And twice she's tried from long range, twice she's missed. She's going to find a way to deliver this bug to Shumo. Hit it deep into the half. Oh, fuck. The Tunisians and they have to take the goalkeeper to palm that ball away. Jabran Islama, she did. She did without in a rightful way because that would have surprised the Tunisia team. I deal with the set piece only just behind it, the left full back, and she hit the ball to the far pose, and Nali excellently deals with it. A penalty, but uh, she can also execute this one if she does want to execute it really well. And she has! She has! I told you, left footers, they are really, really dangerous players. Chucked about her! They are dangerous players. She's telling us... Acting patiently for that you, one. If you, if you ask me, I will tell you right now, nothing actually happened there, but uh, the referee has to decide this one. It's going to be an offside. That's, that's unbelievable. The, the player, she didn't have contact with the ball. Oh. Huh. Maintain that performance. Tempo with the long ball in here. And this time, it's the opportunity and it has to be hit in. I told you. And it is the Copa Queens. Do not count them out. They have been waiting for this moment. And they seem to have gotten it eventually. Deserve. And the Copper Queens deserve this one, don't they? They do. I told you, never count this team out. Until the referee say, it's game over. They will fight to the end. What a goal. What a goal. Look at that. I think the Tunisia team, they're heartbroken right now. Oshumba. Oshumba is always there. Well, I tell you what, they have to give credit down. What a goal it was. What a time to get this goal. And it's going to be opportunity. Grace Chandler really getting a second goal. That can she? Oh, no. What a miss. I told you that the right tie, and she's got a problem there. The right foot is not working. She's not able to hit the balls in. in. And I'm not too sure what the issue was. She that cannot was... just get the ball deep into the attacking areas. The team that qualified and made it to the Olympic Games. The team that shook almost everybody. The team that took out the indomitable lionesses. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day.